Uh, you'll love it when things properly assembled. Anti-seize, not too tight, just spins straight off. That thing turns, there's a thrust bearing in here. And that's what I'm going after. You can see the, how the gear set in here works. And all four will be doing that. I guarantee it. To get the end of this one off. Yeah, so if I turn this, all four of these turn clockwise at a much faster rate. Pretty neat. Got to work out how to release that. I tried that holding washer, that didn't work. Mm, it's starting to rain again. Oh, now this is an autopsy. <laughs> I got the end piece out. It's in a little thrust bearing. It's an eccentric too. That's the sensor that I'm after. <laughs> right in there on the main bearing. It's a massive crown wheel here. That whole thing's just one big crown wheel. Oil sprayer. Can't turn it by hand. I thought the drive ratios looked a little bit different. That one's smaller, it spins faster. That's number four, fourth stage. That one there, I don't know what stage that is. Oh, sorry, S1, stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. So I think we'll find these are all different sizes. Large, getting smaller. Yeah, that's not bad. And if I turn that shaft, Yeah, this shaft here is attached to that giant bloody gear. It's all helically cut too. That would be hellishly expensive. Bit of oil left in the sump. Get the other side done now. Okay, well, there's definitely, uh, I suppose you'd call it an increase in speed as you go through the stages. First stage is fairly slow all the way up to third, fourth stage, which is very fast. So that's all them out. I can pull the sensors off and keep them. I broke one of them. Um, as for getting the rest of it open, I'll leave that to the experts. We've got to get those bolts undone and I don't feel like sweating over that just yet. <laughs> I'll let someone else do that. I just want to know what's inside. <laughs> 